In this video, we'll be going over how to set up your IN100 to advertise using the Eddystone format. We'll also look at changing up the data and trying different options of Eddystone format and Eddystone data that is included in the advertisement data, and then using a mobile phone app on the other side to scan for the Eddystone data and verify that this data was sent out correctly and parsed and able to read it on the mobile side. So as a recap, the advertisement sets are the core functionality of the InPlay IN100. The advertising sets are used to broadcast the information from the tag to the scanner on the other side. So in this exercise, we'll be going through and setting up an Eddystone beacon. Now again, we talked about iBeacon before and Eddystone as well, but just to recap, Eddystone is similar to iBeacon in the sense that an ID can be broadcast out in the advertising packets. The additional information that Eddystone can provide includes a TLM packet, which is a telemetry packet that includes the battery voltage reading, temperature reading, advertising count, as well as a timestamp. So it is a lot more flexible than an iBeacon and provides you with a lot more data that you can include. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to enable just the advertising set number one, go into edit. Let's keep the advertising interval at one second. Make sure we know the public address. Let's go into the advertising data section and make sure you choose Eddystone and go to settings. Now here I have a few fields already pre-filled with the data that I want. And this includes the measure TX power, which is minus 30 dBm. And again, this is measured at zero meters versus one meter with the iBeacon standard. The iBeacon ID, in this case, I just chose to be zero, zero all the way to 99. And then I have a six byte instance which, which starts from zero, one, goes all the way up to zero, six. There's nothing else that we need to configure for this specific advertising set. So we can just hit OK. Again, make sure that your IN100 EVK is connected to the programmer board and connected to the computer via the USB cable. Once you reset the board, make sure you can probe it and connect to it. Once it's successful, we can go ahead and run in RAM. So for the mobile app side and the scanner, I'm going to be using the NRF Connect on Android. So here I have the NRF Connect mobile app and I'm going to filter by the address. And we know the address from the Nano Beacon config tool is 0605. 04, 03, 02, and 01. Once I do that, I can see here that it is discovering the Eddystone beacon. I can hit refresh just to make sure that we are discovering it in real time. And then I can click on the device and I will be able to see the namespace as well as the instance. And as you can see, they match what we set up in the Nano Beacon config tool. Now let's go ahead and add the TLM. So the way we can add the TLM to the Eddystone is the TLM usually is interleaved along with the UID. So in this case, we need to set it up as a separate advertising set. So we can go back to the main advertising window, enable set number two, and as simple as it is, just go in and edit. You can adjust the advertising interval you can also create triggered advertising. So for example, if you want the ID to always be transmitted and broadcast in the, uh, over the air, but you only want like, for example, the temperature or the TLM packet to be transmitted based on a trigger on a condition, wh whether that includes uh, a low threshold of a temperature, a low threshold of a VCC reading or a battery voltage or whatever you need for your application specific use case. So I'm going to be sticking with a simple continuous advertising just to make it easier to find. I'm going to change the Eddystone configuration to be in the TLM frame. And once I hit OK, I need to reset the board again to be able to run in RAM again. Uh, we're not flashing the board just yet. We are just going to test it in RAM. So. I'm going to hit the reset button on the board itself, do a run in RAM. And now I'm going to do a refresh here. And once I do that, I can see here that every time the TLM packet is being transmitted, 
NRF Connect captures it and sees it and records it. So you can see here that every now and then it will capture the TLM packet and it will show the data. We can go back to uh, another app called Beacon Scanner, which shows it a little bit more in a more user-friendly way. So I'm going to scan using this one. And in this case here, you can see the data stays there. It actually combines both the UID data and the TLM packet data. So in this case, we'll, we're seeing that the temperature is 20.7 C. Uptime is 472, 482 seconds, and it keeps going. The number of packets increases. And since we are powering the EVK from the computer, it is around 3.3 volts. So that's it for this video. In a future video, we'll cover in more detail the triggered advertising. So in this video, we covered the continuous for both the TLM and the UID. In a future video, we'll cover more about the triggered advertising. We'll go through the different options that you have as well as the global trigger settings that are applied to all the advertising sets.